All right, what's up, guys? Harry, say hi. Can you wave hi? No? So we're gonna make cupcakes. I'm gonna show you guys how to doctor up box right, cake. Wendy, if you're new here, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and join us over here on the internet. Um, I have Harry and I have Howie. And we're gonna make some food. All right, we're gonna, he's learned that he can open drawers, it's wonderful. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make, take box cake mix and do a little extra to it and make it taste phenomenal. So we're gonna make some Halloween cupcakes. So let me so show you. I have Funfetti frosting in the orange flavor, just doesn't matter. Um, and this is yellow cake mix. Um, it's gluten free because if you're new, the girls and I have celiac disease, so everything's gluten free. And then you need a box of jello. I'm gonna use chocolate because we're gonna try to attempt to make this black or darker in color. And then some vanilla. So it's very easy. You just open your bag of cake mix. And here I'm struggling with the scissors because I had them on backwards. Then you're gonna add your pudding mixture into it. Um, I like to go ahead and just give it a little bit of a swirl to mix it in. You don't have to. I normally do, if I'm gonna do a chocolate cake, I'll do chocolate pudding. If I'm doing a vanilla cake or like a Funfetti cake or a yellow cake, I'll do vanilla. If you're gonna do like a spice cake, you can do vanilla or like butterscotch would be good. Do whatever works for you in the pudding part. So here I'm just mixing it in a little bit, as you can see. After you mix the jello in a little bit, you're just gonna follow the instructions on the back of your box. So here it's a cup of water, a half a cup, a third of a cup of oil, and three eggs. This is how I crack my eggs. You take one egg, you hit the other egg on top of it, and you do it in there. I like to mix my egg up a little bit before I put it in the batter. Here I'm adding in a, about a teaspoon to two teaspoons of vanilla, of my homemade gluten-free vanilla. Add it in my eggs and then you just mix it all up. It will come out to be a little bit thicker than a normal batter, but it still plumps up great. Uh, gluten-free also is thicker, so if it's too thick, you could always add a little bit of milk if you want to thin it out. Once your batter is all ready, you are going to want to line your cupcake tin. Here are my Happy Halloween tins, and then I use a spoon, a ice cream scoop to level it out. You see I just knocked the whole thing over. Then you just fill it up and you put it in the oven. These baked at 350 degrees for 22 minutes. Here they are out of the oven. I'm just showing you right here how it looks when you pull off the paper. And now it's time to frost them. I am not doing anything to this mix. I'm just stirring it up and putting it in, frosting the cupcakes. I know people will heat it up and make it so you can like pour it. I don't do that. You can add vanilla to it, anything you like. All right, once they're all frosted, I'm just decorating with the sprinkles that came with the frosting. There, I just showed you that these ones have cute little bat, black bats and orange pumpkins. And you just decorate it however you like. These I've done to where it has little peaks in it, so it's a little bit more fun. All right, now I'm just gonna add eyeballs. No rhyme or reason on the eyeballs. I'm just, you know, some have one, some have five just to make them a little fun so that they're Halloween monsters. So here they all done. Just a little fun, little monster cupcakes. I do have two separate trays. In the white one, there are more frosting. In the clear container, it's a little bit less frosting. All right, I hope you guys found some of these tips helpful and nice, huh? I, you can doctor up the frosting. It's late, I have to get him to bed, I have to get Howie to bed. Just did it normal, decorated it. Some with spikes, some not. Added eyeballs. I know a lot of people will microwave their store-bought frosting so it's smoother and easier to pour. 
it's just whatever your preference. Um, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.